ಕಮ್ ಮಾ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಓರಿಯಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಣಲತಾ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿಆರ್ಸಿ it is my privilege to welcome our honorable special chief secretary of school education sri b rashikar garu for this uh, beautiful program and to address the our teachers sir so, welcome sir thank you hindi letter chala what is the program sir this is the program about the spoken english uh, two two day orientation program on spoken english so, okay. i mean yes sir in the modulai kada you somebody can brief what has happened how many are participating sir yesterday uh, said um, yesterday all this is orientation for especially for english teachers and mm. uh, yesterday 20000 teachers joined in this session and they watched the videos and we started uh, uh, by taking the success of uh, this uh, spoken english uh, summer camp and also uh, uh, 130 teachers training uh, on spoken english these two are uh, our initiatives on spoken english uh, recently so by taking this success we uh, we want uh, we decided to extend this program to all the all schools and all teachers and uh, the, yesterday we started the program for the uh, teachers in the first day one session so um, and also we developed some one module and according to this module we are taking the sessions now sir so yesterday we started the program and today is the second day sir please address, all of the teachers are waiting for your uh, address okay. yeah vetri you can uh, give us a brief context and background ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ <laughs> and uh, we did a world day summer camp during the summer holidays and uh, high school students participated around 100 students participated we found that even within world day summer camp this is a immersion program so they will be bombarded with lot of videos dialogues and uh, they will uh, enact uh, enact lot of programs which they watched so through that uh, the children could possibly uh, pick up the language and within 12 days 12 days they showed lot of progress so based on that pilot success we did one 130 uh, t- 130 teachers a master trainers training program for high school teachers and we asked them to practice in the classroom and uh, learn whether this process really working at a classroom environment because that was a the pilot was at the summer camp so it was a very closed environment and we personally monitored it so all the 130 teachers have realized that this is a really good program and this audio lingual approach is working in the classroom environment also so we thought we will float it for all the high school children so this is basically following ls rw in the sequence so first we will focus on listening then uh, they will uh, speak and enact what they have listened then gradually they will move to reading the dialogues and understanding uh, relating the listening and speaking to reading and to the writing skills so this is the strategy which we follow so there is this two awards which we have um, the uh, there are lot of awards dedicated for environment sessions and things so we thought we will pick up this two awards per week uh, in the high school academic calendar this is for classes 6 to 8 this two awards will be dedicated only to spoken english then 11th of now 
uh, English teachers, we have an high school, sir. So, so we, we are giving this training program only for this 11,000 high school teachers. And we have supplied the module already. This training session is basically for explaining that module and how to transact uh, that into the classroom. So based on this, uh, yesterday the feedbacks were very good, sir. There were some comments in the YouTube videos also, which we have observed. So today is a follow-up of that. So basically it will be one time, interaction time, reading time and practice time. Each time there will be sessions allotted for it and there is established a protocol on how to do it. So the teacher will be facilitators and they will be correcting the pronunciations of the students as and when it is dated. And they were asked to record videos and give feedback, real-time feedback to the teacher, students so that they can correct the pronunciations. So this today, today uh, there is a follow-up session and uh, there will be some experience sharing from uh, the 130 teachers who practice that in the classroom. And uh, followed by that, there will be small tests to, to understand whether uh, 11,000 teachers have really uh, understood the course uh, for this past two days. From 10th onwards, uh, all our high schools, this spoken English course will be initiated, sir. So this is the brief update about the program. So I request you to address the teachers, sir. Thanks. Go, go, go first. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Suresh Kumar, Commissioner of School Education. Uh, Happy to know about the special program which is launched focusing the class 6 to 8 children to give them orientation and capacity building on spoken English. Uh, this is very, very important in the sense that we all know that English is today considered to be a global language and knowing English is considered to be an opportunity for a child from anywhere uh, in the world to actually access the global platform. With this uh, background, uh, Government of Andhra Pradesh has decided to uh, universalize English education in all the government schools. And uh, today, uh, we are happy and proud to say that many children in our government schools are confidently speaking English and they are able to communicate in English. So this, uh, many English teachers in many government schools have done many experiments and they have motivated the children to do it. Uh, learning from the success stories in different places including Bandapudi and Nidamanuru, now we have given uh, special coaching to English teachers uh, in during the summer vacation and during last two months. A special officer has mentioned about 130 English teachers have undergone a special training across the state uh, and these teachers in turn are training around 4,000 other teachers and uh, during this week we are covering all the other uh, around 10 to 11,000 English teachers also. So all the school assistant English who are the basically the English teachers should know that you are all English teachers but what we have realized is that though your subject is English Many of you are not very confident and comfortable in speaking in English. Though you would have studied English in your graduation uh, or post-graduation, spoken English is something totally different. Speaking English fluently without grammatic mistake, uh, without uh, any fear, is a skill which need to be learned. Now, this entire program is intended to give you that training, give you that confidence. Here, all of you have to take personal interest and invest your time on this. Without that interest from your side, you will not be able to learn. Uh, like there is a saying that you can take the horse to the water. You can't force the horse to drink the water. So we are taking you to the water. We are giving you all opportunities after consultation with uh, experts at the national level from various institutes, including the English and Foreign Language University, uh, and various, uh, various, various other English institutes, we have prepared a very good, uh, a, a good, a very good curriculum, very good, uh, you know, strategy for that, covering various aspects, fun time, interaction time, reading time, practice time. So these are the step by step process through which very easily spoken English can be mastered. So we do, don't have to go into too many basics, too many fundamentals. Expose the child to English encourage the child to speak in English. You know, we have also seen several videos wherein children were introducing their parents and even their parents who are otherwise illiterate are actually speaking in English by introducing themselves. 
like you know very simple thing my name is suresh kumar i am studying in bandapuri jilla parishad high school my parents are agricultural laborers my brother is studying in class 5 this is simple spoken english so if a child is able to confidently communicate this without mistake the same thing can be learned by anybody so what i would highlight here the most critical factor here is the teacher we all assume that you are all english teachers so maybe we may think that why we need to train you as i mentioned to you our experience our survey our analysis in the field we realize that only very few english teachers are confidently speaking in english now you have to first develop that confidence now this is the, that is the objective of this program then you have to impart this program in the classrooms our main focus is class 8 children uh, but we are covering class 6 and 7 also uh, we want to create Uh, you know english uh, clubs in every school where this children from class 6 7 and 8 will be members in that this english club should encourage children in communicating in english it is not like you know again don't get confused like a you know private school or a corporate school where a child will be punished if he if the child speaks in you know telugu or any other language it is not like that the child will be otherwise communicating in their mother tongue in the school but during the english uh, period during the this activity periods which every week two periods we are telling this two periods should be over and above the regular you know academic calendar where the english teacher should uh, form the english clubs all the children should be brought into the club and during that one hour uh, two hours every week ensure that all of you speak only in english that's the main thing during the other time you may, yeah, the child will be speaking in the mother tongue so so don't give the impression that you know government is uh, telling that you should speak only in english no telugu because because we know that there are so many people who actually spread negative news so many people who actually criticize this very good initiative in the government school by criticizing that you know telugu bhashane meeru darvidhan chestunnaru ane there are different type of comments but let us be very conscious about that government intention is definitely not that government is encouraging the mother tongue government is also encouraging english because english is a passport to the world for any child so that please realize that so i request all the teachers all the english teachers to go through this guidelines issue to you go through the book which is being uh, be given to you uh, and impart this training in your class now after you do this maybe along with that we also want english teachers to train the other teachers the teachers who are teaching math science social so we know that they also need to communicate in english when you have english medium as a medium of communication in your classes but we find that many math teachers science teachers social teachers are in fact uh, communicating in telugu in the class which is not the appropriate thing we need to so who can train them english school assistants around 11000 of them are there now all of you in turn will have to make that extra effort you have to have maybe spend one hour every week in your school bring all the other teachers together help them encourage them teach them how to communicate there are so many things i am not going into the details uh, there are so many activities which are given to you on a daily activity weekly activity monthly activity all these things are given in that similar we love reading period uh, similarly communication activities uh, ensure that all these act, these uh, programs are implemented properly in all schools so i wish all the best to uh, to all the teachers all the scrt uh, the scrt professors who are hand holding this program and all of you to actually in next 2 to 3 months we should see the difference whenever anybody come to the school from class 6 to 8 when somebody go and ask the child to speak in english we should see all children speaking confidently uh, without any grammatic mistakes in english that is what we want to achieve through this program once again i wish you all the best thank you uh, now our uh, special chief secretary sri uh, uh, sri rajesh sir will be addressing all of you Ah, uh, thank you, uh, Suresh. Uh, thank you, Vetri, and the entire uh, CRT team uh, who are anchoring this whole program. Uh, 
you know the uh, special officer english uh, has just given us the context and the various attempts that have been made so far uh, by by the school education department to operationalize the vision of our honorable chief minister all of us particularly the teachers who are undergoing this training should understand that all this is being done in the context of a very audacious uh, i would use the word audacious uh, vision of our honorable cm who wanted to you know produce from the government schools every child coming out of a government school shall actually be equipped with the necessary skills knowledge to compete at the global level so we have been saying that uh, the the whole uh, you know reforms that we have introduced in the last 3 and 1/2 years is to achieve this one particular objective and and that is to ensure that even the children from the passing out of the government schools are able to compete they are able to compete at the global level which means uh, you know many of our many of your students should be able to go abroad you know study abroad uh, and and get into good job just as our own children are are able to do our children are able to do because as uh, commissioner just now said they they have uh, you know uh, the the power of the language of english everybody knows this period everybody knows that if you are able to speak in english you have a passport to you know the best jobs uh, everything everything opens up once you are very fluent in uh, uh, the english language and that's the reason in fact when crt did the survey 96 to 97 percent of the parents have opted for English medium, and that's precisely the reason why even the poorest of the poor families are, you know, sending their uh, children to far off uh, schools just because those schools, those private schools, uh, teach uh, in the, you know, English medium. All of us know this. and and that's precisely the reason why honorable cm uh, you know introduced made took this uh, big decision to introduce english medium of education in all the government schools so this decision was taken almost 3 years now uh, you know because of certain reasons because of court cases uh, you know we been not able to Uh, bring in uh, you know a full fledged uh, kind of a strategy but in fits and starts we've done a lot of things in the last 3 years and and uh, lucky for us one again uh, uh, a teacher who had this uh, uh, audacity to think different uh, prasad mr prasad of uh, zp high school bendepudi uh, you know he as a uh, special officer just now mentioned this kind of a strategy called uh, audio lingual strategy of uh, teaching a new language so through the uh, 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 making children interested in or uh, you know attracted to the accent uh, and he took uh, the american accent as the entry point and 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 in uh, uh, i mean in no time he was able to influence a large number of children his own students and then based on his uh, uh, success story then we re- replicated that in another uh, summer camp and and uh, lo and behold uh, we we see that in 12 days lot of children have picked up uh, uh, the not just the spoken english but also uh, many of them are able to speak in the in, uh, in in the american accent so so i would not stress too much on the accent part uh, though 
uh, you know, this uh, stress on accent or using accent as a uh, as a carrot, uh, as as an interaction to children, it has worked. But one should not worry too much about accent. I would I would urge all the teachers, don't worry about your accent. The uh, any language is a medium for communication. If you are able to communicate, it, what I am saying now, if 100, 200 people are able to uh, understand what I am trying to convey, the objective of this uh, language is achieved. So, as a strategy, I mean, if you are want to, you know, uh, attract students through, just as Prasad did, uh, through the uh, strategy of uh, of accent, yes, we can definitely adopt. But I would urge uh, uh, everybody, more, mostly the teachers, for yourself and for your students, don't worry too much about the accent part. The best example I would I give every time is uh, uh, if anybody has heard the. Uh, last year, uh, Nobel Prize for Economics, uh, Esther Duflo. Uh, she she received uh, all of you are aware. She received uh, the Nobel Prize in Economics along with her husband, who is an Indian. She is a French uh, lady. She teaches in uh, MIT, the, the the big and the famous uh, Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology in US. If I, I would urge you know all of you to look at our videos, you you go type uh, Esther Duflo in Google and you'll get a lot of uh, interviews and you know many videos. You know she speaks with a lot of French accent, but she is conveying whatever she even the toughest economic uh, uh, you know uh, issues. She is able to convey. That's it. That's that's what the language is all meant for. If she has spoken, if she had spoken in French, her mother tongue, only a few people would have understood what uh, and and about her work. But you know, she she uh, picked up English and and uh, uh, of course, being a professor at MIT, they are uh, they have to teach in English. So. Even with heavy French accent, she is Nobel Prize winner. She teaches. She is a teacher. She is a professor. Teaches every day. She is able to do her job. I, I just mentioned this, uh, you know, to drive home the point that uh, uh, don't worry too much about, you know, how we are speaking. Uh, you know, as long as you are able to communicate, as long as the other person is able to. Grasp what you have said. That is the whole purpose of the language, and it is in this context, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's essential that we build an environment. It is essential that all our schools should have that environment where English is heard, English words are heard, English sentences are heard. That's when people pick up. That's when children pick up uh, English very easily. Therefore. You know, all the devices that we have in our schools, uh, be it uh, the uh, TV, smart TV that we have given for, uh, given under Nadu Nadu phase one, or many high schools have English, uh, have labs, computer labs, use them. I, I urge all the English teachers to use them. Keep playing, uh, you know, you can play a, a cartoon, you can play a, ch a, ch a children's movies, you know, which is fun, and 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 you create that uh, environment where uh, there are a lot of English words floating around, and that's and children pick up very easy. Adults is difficult, but children pick up very very easily. And I would like all our schools because now up to eighth, we have announced that uh, government schools are, uh, you know, are. Uh, English medium schools. Therefore, we need to, uh, you know, ensure that uh, 
uh, that environment is there in all our schools. So all the HMs, all the teachers, in, uh, in, even in our foundation schools should start in, in, in their own way. I'm sure, uh, you know, in 2021, in 2022, most of us, even if we have not studied in English medium schools, just to communicate with the present generation, everybody has picked up some, some, you know, some knowledge of English. And, uh, you know, many of the teachers have their uh, kids in US or uh, outside or your uh, grandsons, granddaughters and many of you, you know, try your best to communicate with them in, uh, in this language. So, I think you need to carry that to our schools and, and ensure that, uh, you know, we do the same with these children, with the, with our, with the children who are studying in our schools. I think that's, that's very critical. We, we should not look at uh, the students studying in government schools as somebody different from, uh, um, from our own children or children studying in uh, private schools. The vision, the mission of Honorable CM is to make our schools, uh, make every government schools on par with uh, any private school. There should not be any difference. In fact, even the kind of salaries that uh, government teachers receive, you are 5x, 10x more than the teachers who, uh, who teach in private schools. So, today with all the you know, infrastructure uh, developments that we have done, I think our schools are no less than any private school. It should not be. And, and therefore, the onus is on the teachers now. Uh, uh, you know, as administrators, uh, you know, we've, we've given everything. Good toilets, good drinking water, good environment. We're even now giving uh, uh, TVs, uh, bringing in uh, digital uh, uh, component uh, into the classroom. Everything that is being done, except as, you know, taking the phrase... Uh, that commissioner used just now, uh, taking the horse. Uh, I mean, we have done everything, uh, you know, uh, giving you all these inputs. It is now the responsibility of the teachers. You need to change the image of the government school. In fact, I realized in the recent past that it is not Nadu Nadu, it is not, uh, you know, all the investments that are going into the schools that will actually attract uh, the parents. It is you. The word should go out that yes, in government schools, the teachers are trying, trying their best to, you know, teach in English. But that's what the aspiration of every parent. They want to hear, they want to listen to their children speaking good uh, English because uh, that will make a difference in their lives. So I think it all comes down to the teachers, your efforts, your passion, what you bring to the table. If you are, if each one of you actually, uh, you know, uh, keep thinking about uh, the vision of our Honorable CM, which is a very, very noble uh, vision, and then, you know, your efforts in... Uh, Converting this whole ecosystem in our government schools, uh, you know, similar to that in a private school. I think this effort should come from from all the teachers, and these are uh, this is just the first of many trainings that we will be providing you. Uh, and and I want uh, you know the message should go go out that. Uh, you know, just as the private schools, uh, you know, which put that board English medium attracts, you know, uh, even uh, children from the poorest to the poor uh, household, I think we should be able to give that kind of a message, impression to, uh, for our government schools, which are 
right next to their doorstep. Today we have a beautiful government school within not one, two or three such government schools within a habitation, but the parents are sending their children to uh, to a English medium private school maybe five, ten kilometers away. So that whole equation has to change and that, that has to begin with you. So the all the English teachers, I think around 10,000? 11,000 English teachers are today tasked with this uh, huge responsibility. You, you initiate this, you, uh, you know, you become the uh, sort of ambassadors for, uh, for, for bringing this whole transformation in our schools. If English teacher begins it, I mean, giving that uh, kind of uh, environment in the school, it will it'll then induce your other colleagues, uh, other subject teachers also to pick up. They should look to you for any uh, clarifications and doubts. And, and as the special officer just now mentioned, the whole purpose of this exercise is uh, 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 is the audio lingual kind of a strategy where uh, it is all spoken. The there is a difference. There is a huge difference between written English and spoken English. In fact, uh, spoken English is the most easiest. Uh, you can make a lot of grammatical mistakes. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, but as long as you are able to convey, and that happens only through practice. I'll end by saying, a uh, lot of practice is required. A lot of, as I've said, that. We need to create an environment where the children keep listening, keep uh, hearing a lot of English uh, words and 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 that will uh, sort of attract them and then they will pick up very fast. And we have seen just 12 days of uh, our summer camp in Nidavanur High School. I mean, I was zapped. I was uh, taken aback when I interacted with those students. In 12 days, they actually picked up. Uh, which is very, very uh, difficult, but I think there is some magic in this uh, whole approach of, uh, you know, teaching them English uh, through the uh, through the carrot of or through the attraction of the accent. I think that we need to leverage, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, the, the whole purpose of this exercise is to transform our schools and, and uh, by the time Next academic year comes, uh, if we want to get all the students, all particularly, no, no need to pay uh, extra school fees. They all should walk into a government school because our government schools, we have the best English teachers, uh, best other uh, subject teachers, and, and, and the facilities are much, much better than the other schools. So, I'll stop here. I uh, again wish this whole program, uh, you know, uh, is uh, taken very seriously, and and the English teachers in our government schools will be the uh, uh, sort of uh, the the ambassadors uh, for the language for for introducing the English language, uh, making it popular in our schools. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your significant message. And, and I am very confident that our colleague teachers would receive the importance of messages, your messages, and take this forward in a successful way. So there are two things we you you mentioned that they ensure the speaking environment. It is very very important. How we uh, experimented in the summer camp too, and I'm sure the government schools are on par with the private schools. And as our commissioner mentioned, developing confidence is very, very important. So confidence building is very important. But this attitudinal changes of teachers also very important, sir. Sir, it will definitely it will go with a successful way. And we should create that environment. And confidence building is the main objective of this program. Sure, we will take up this program. I, I, I am very much confident about our teachers that uh, with the uh, success of all these these two programs, there's the 130 teachers and uh, who came forward willingly for taking ex an extra hour in uh, their schools. That is a very great thing that 130 teachers came forward and uh, training when we have taken up that uh, summer camp is also one example. 
that uh, during the hot summer, those teachers who rendered their services are very great, sir. And uh, I, uh, there are so many good teachers are there in uh, Andhra Pradesh. They, really, it will helpful for them, helpful for them, sir. So thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you. So now I invite the, our special officer for English medium project, Srimati Vetri Selvi, ma'am. Please uh, address our uh, teachers, ma'am, please. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, my internet connection, so I'm having a very bad connection today, so. It's okay, madam. You are visible, you are audible, madam. Yeah, I could see around uh, 2,700 teachers connected live today. I hope uh, balanced teachers will watch it later. At uh, the end of the day, our target is uh, 12,000 teachers, English teachers at high schools who have to watch this video to learn how to transact this in classroom. So I could see a lot of uh, expert persons, uh, master trainers here connected in with this. So I just want to share uh, some more information on this audio linguism. So, audio linguism is a time-tested strategy and uh, as you know, there are a lot of other strategies uh, which we use to follow the conventional method of first reading, writing, sentence formation, grammatical structure and then go for speaking. This, uh, this is like a shortcut method. So, first we go with listening. You listen and keep imitating, keep practicing, keep drilling the sentences and uh, you, you will pick up the structure of the sentence and then you will start speaking. And once that speaking comes, then uh, you will be connected with the same dialogues, writings, whatever you have listened and spoke will be linked to what you are seeing. So you will connect uh, visually and audio, uh, visually whatever you have connected, whatever you have heard. Then you will start reading. And at the end of this entire session, you will start writing also. So this is the actual strategy. But as you know, there are a lot of, uh, uh, this is a behaviorist theory and uh, there are a lot of uh, positives and negatives of this theory. So you could go to Google and search about audio lingualism and find that uh, there are a lot of good things, positive things and also negative things. The most important thing is, the most important um, negative thing is, if, you, if, the, if the student is not corrected properly then and there, they will pick up a wrong pronunciation and wrong accent. So uh, the teachers who are going to practice this audio lingualism should ensure that uh, correct pronunciation is imparted. Even if you don't know, just use a, there are a lot of internet resources to verify and confirm the pronunciation of words. So if you fail there, if they uh, fail to correct the pronunciation at the beginning of the session itself, it, they will keep following the same pronunciation. Ultimately, listening and speaking is all about pronunciation. Like Sir was telling, they are not bothered about accent. We don't want our children to have a British and US accent. But they should have a good pronunciation. And it audio lingualism is, uh, we are depending upon our English teachers. So English, it is the responsibility of each and every English teacher who is following this strategy which we shared, which we are sharing for the past two days to uh, correct the pronunciation, correct the behavior then and there so that they will pick up the correct pronunciation. Um, this is most important. This is what, uh, so it depends upon the facilitator, it depends upon the teacher who follow the strategy and the sincerity is or her sincerity to make this approach a success. So if uh, uh, there are a lot of accents attached uh, in Telugu, uh, in Andhra also, Andhra Pradesh also, there are a lot of different accents uh, in each district. So please ensure that the pronunciation of the word is, I'm not talking about accent. You may have a different accent because you studied in a Telugu medium background and I may, I may have a different accent because I'm from Tamil Nadu. So it is all different. But when it comes to pronunciation of a word, ensure that uh, it is uh, taught properly to all the students. So this is one of my requests and this is where it got back to it. This is where a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, conventional uh, uh, writers and uh, thinkers think that uh, this is a shortcut approach uh, without teaching the grammar, how come you teach a sentence uh, without even knowing how to frame a sentence and all. So this has been a lot of, uh, uh, there has been a lot of dispute, a lot of agreement and disagreement. But right now, um, since uh, the children are already in class six, and class 6 to class 8 and uh, they already knew the basic grammar, grammatical structure and they know to read and write English. So now we are focusing on listening and speaking more. So that is why we ended up with this strategy. 
and it is uh, accent is just a way to attract the children because uh, when our students when you also you would have seen those videos when uh, the children are speaking with a it was accent you get impressed oh wow this is nice so this is just attracting factor to it so there is i i should also say now google and wikipedia also has a indian pronunciation to it so we don't have to feel bad about anything so there is, this is just an attractive factor if you are interested you just use those videos otherwise uh, just let us just stick to good pronunciation and good sentence formation so you would have seen the module if you have not seen the module yet, please we have shared it uh, we have uploaded it in diksha we have shared it across also this module has a uh, picked up what is that dialogue you are going to transact in that session just stick to it so if you are so much interested and if you can uh, do it beyond that uh, classroom session which we have established it is it is fair enough you can do it but without doing proper research with, without doing any homework please don't try it in the classroom so whatever we have given is tested it is tested as i already given in the introduction it is tested uh, at the pilot it is tested with the 130 teachers and around 4000 students and now uh, based on that testing based on the feedbacks of the uh, resp and responses of the students only we have corrected uh, we have developed this module so this module is time tested and it is really working well so if the teachers are sincere enough to implement this program properly you know, based on the session uh, session plan i think it would be a great success i also wanted to uh, share a story with you just to inspire you it is a real life story it is not a, not a very big one so there is this student Uh, who is studying in class eight? Who who is considered to be a bad student because he's very naughty. He fails in all the exams. Uh, he don't care about the classroom sessions. He is just interested in playing. So one day, uh, as usual, uh, the typical teachers are uh, used to give punishment, beating, uh, little down punishments, whatever, all the physical punishments. So one day in an English classroom, he was again behaving naughty. When the teacher asked some question, he couldn't understand answer the question. So the teacher got irritated. but uh, and angry but instead of punishing the student uh, uh, instead of punishing uh, giving a physical punishment or asking the student to get out of the classroom what she did is she gave a story book and asked him to read and come after a week and to tell the story so that is a punishment uh, she has given to the student so that student he is a very naughty guy so uh, it was very easy for him if she has given a physical punishment she would have, he would have just uh, Uh, get a slap or a beating, and he would be happy with that. He he would have get rid of that. But this student was little intrigued. Uh, how? Why she is giving this punishment? So why she is giving it? So he thought, okay, let me just open and see. Out of out of curiosity, he just opened the book. He liked the title of the story. Then he keep um, uh, uh, turning the pages, and he liked the story also. There are a lot of beautiful pictures, and he gradually started reading the story. And um, by the end of the third day. Uh, he completed the story book and he went and uh, uh, went to the teacher and said, "Ma'am, I have finished this book. Give me some other books." The teacher was laughing. Uh, uh, I gave you one week to finish the book. No, no, I have completed the book. The story was very interesting. The teacher was also little uh, suspicious whether the student has really read the story or just uh, coming to tease her because he is considered to be a naughty guy. So, but uh, he said that no, and he started explaining the story in a very dramatical way. the teacher was very much impressed now she know apart from being naughty and being bad bad in exams and all this guy has a talent so he can read a story and he can exhibit and explain a story in a very dramatic and beautiful way so she got very impressed she keep encouraging she suggested some books to read and that guy was always in the library after that punishment actually so uh, later that guy was uh, since he was very good in storytelling he was asked by the teacher he was suggested uh, by the teacher to participate in all kind of storytelling competition he started uh, storytelling competition participating and he used to get lot of awards prizes for it then he moved to oratory then he moved to debate the different national people and uh, english is a common language for them and uh, uh, 
and he is very happy and uh, he is still owing that talent and that knowledge to that uh, english teacher from whom it all started so he even now he owes that uh, knowledge talent the respect he got from the school from fellow teachers from the students and now he is comfortably talking and transacting to uh, the other foreign national he still owes that to the english teacher it uh, it uh, now he might be some 35 or something but he still remembers his class 8 english teacher so i want all of you and i'm giving you this opportunity to be that one inspiring teacher for the students of your classes uh, please take this opportunity which we're giving you so um, like that student uh, who has come from nothing to something now i want you to be that inspiring teacher to take forward this uh, spoken english courses this is just a beginning this is just a beginning of a big uh, um, series of set up training programs which we are going to launch but uh, this is a very good opportunity for you uh, to engage the students to be motivating and inspiring to the students and you will also definitely enjoy this classes it is not like a typical classroom you go write something the students will be writing and copying so even you can enjoy because uh, we could see a lot of fun videos when they are transacting in the classroom and they are trying to repeat the sentence or telling a story and transacting uh, enacting and drama the teacher are also enjoying the teacher is also part of it so it, i will definitely guarantee if you do this properly in the classroom you will also be enjoying the students also will be enjoying there are a lot of feedbacks from our own 130 master trainers who keeps telling i am also enjoying now the teach and all the students after that one hour session they keep asking when they are going when we are going to have the next session so it has come to that level now the children are driven and they wanted those classes to happen they wanted to learn more and it would be really interesting for a teacher if the students are willing to learn and uh, very enthusiastic you know there are some videos you would have seen that uh, these parents these students are going back to their home and they are trying to enact this drama and enact this dialogue conversation with their own parents also and they and they may their parents are speak in english it's which is very beautiful and uh, this is how this is how uh, it is going to be this is what we are expecting you as an english teacher this is the first time we are just uh, limiting our uh, resource persons to only those 11000 english teachers in our high schools so i like sir said you are an english teacher you already know english we are just teaching you a strategy which will be helpful uh, to for the students to pick up the spoken english so that is all so please be that inspiring teacher to your students i just i don't want you to pick up the best student in a classroom and make him comfortable speaking in english so the challenge is for those last student you think he has to be comfortable speaking in english so the entire classroom should be there should be english environment in the classroom there should be uh, english clubs uh, not just in the two hours dedicated classroom uh, spoken english hours which we wanted you to do the children should be so interested the teacher should be so interested there should be a lot of follow up activities um, beyond and outside the classroom also so i request this to be a celebration this to be a movement of english in all of our government schools high schools i am very sure that um, uh, um, there are not few good teachers like uh, swarna was telling there are uh, all the teachers are good uh so i request you to perform well and to inspire the students and to make them uh, make this a very good english movement in our government schools so this is my request and i could see a lot of live chats and comments you can use those for asking your doubts about the approach rather than just wishing good morning or something so because i used to follow that also so i request all the teachers because if there is no doubt uh, there is no doubt sessions initially we planned it uh, physically but because of a lot of um, reasons administrative reasons we couldn't do it so since this is online you might have lot of doubts so once you go back to the classroom and start practicing you may also have lot of doubts so whatever all those doubts if you have anything right now please uh, put it in the comment we will read all those comments and we will try to answer these questions so this is from my side so i wish and hope uh, this uh, spoken english course to be a big movement across the high schools and uh, everybody should look at you and learn how you have done it in the classroom i don't want one or two viral videos of the best speaking student in a classroom i want every child to speak comfortably english and i want to uh, there is a google drive which was shared so just share all your best practices if you have done anything beyond it if you have done if your class to if you think at the end of the second session or third session there is a lot of beautiful things happening in the classroom please record it and upload it in the google drive so that we will have a watch and we will also publish it and the best videos will be put up in youtube also so i wish and hope i wish all the best to all the english teachers uh, please make it a grand success 
let this be a beginning of a big English movement in our government schools. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Sona. Thank you so much, Madam, for your inspiring, inspiring message. Uh, really, uh, you mentioned that the accent is not uh, important and the pronunciation and fluency is very important. So, uh, as per our program, also is a fluent teacher, a fluent student, fluency in English and confident speakers. These are the main object of the program. And the module which we prepared is then just a model. And this is where you can also all the teachers can also uh, can uh, adopt so many strategies to strengthen the spoken English. So this is a story also inspiring story. Uh, what you mentioned is very good, ma'am. And uh, this is a really very great opportunity for every English teacher to inspire the students. And this, uh, not only that, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to feel proud of that. That uh, uh, when, the, uh, when the students are speaking in English means this is a pride to English teacher. So that's the... Uh, great thing that is uh, embedded in this program madam and uh, every parents also every community and uh, all parents are very uh, now the respect of the teacher also increased they are really respecting the uh, our government school teachers that uh, they are doing very well when they observe these spoken english classes in the schools so thank you very much ma'am and uh, today uh, we have uh, some sessions that is the uh, five sessions we have and uh, the first session, I would like to invite Mrs. Mangarani Garu, a secondary grade teacher in uh, Nagaraju Special Municipal Corporation Primary School, Rajamandri. Uh, and she is, the, uh, she is well known as uh, Mangarani, uh, Tech Mangarani. Uh, and uh, she, uh, she has uh, her own uh, channel, Mangarani Lessons. And she got uh, seven crores of uh, viewers. That's a very great thing of... Uh, Mangarani and uh, she is also participated in the summer camp and, uh, and she started this spoken English uh, program in, uh, in her school and how one week that is one theme she uh, experimented in her school she will explain in her words. Please Mangarani madam over to Mangarani. Thank you Swarnalata ma'am. Good morning everyone. This is Mangarani working as headmistress in Sri Nagaraja Municipal Corporation Primary School, Rajamahindra Varmarban, East Godavari District. First of all, I would like to thank all the officials of APSCRT for giving me this wonderful opportunity to present before you and warm welcome to all the English teachers. Uh, for coming to today's orientation session, I would like to share my classroom experiences on spoken English. Before that, as Madam said, I have attended as a resource person that uh, spoken English classes conducted during the summer for Nedaman Uru High School students. Before going to the uh, summer camp, I had my own strategies and I used my best practices to teach spoken English to the students. They enjoyed the activities and they learned. Ma'am, presentation please. They enjoyed the activities that they learned. And after 12 days, uh, they performed before the, all the officials and they got appreciated by all the officials. Really, it's a very good program. And not only teaching to the students. Now, next slide. Second slide. Not only uh, teaching to the students, I learned many strategies new strategies, joyful methods, techniques from other resource person. Especially, I interacted with Bandapuri High School students and the teacher Prasad Garu. He taught us how he was uh, implementing all these uh, spoken English skills to his children. And I adopted those techniques. Now I'm implementing in my classroom. Um, next slide, ma'am. Uh, now I'm implementing all those techniques and strategies in my classroom. So what are the techniques? Collecting different resources from various sources and recording, as the madam said, audio lingual, recording audios and sending through WhatsApp groups. And the children will listen to those 
audio input and uh, they imitate that and after that they will record that and again they are sending in the groups and uh, this process is giving very best results not only that i am creating some animated with for this spoken english uh, skills to implement work, spoken english skills among my children so coming to the biggest problem that is maintaining uh, our syllabus and spoken english at a time so this module is uh, wait ma'am uh, this module is for uh, prepared for eighth class students and i, I i'm very glad to be part of the developing team a member of developing team so what i did what is my plan i correlated these components with my syllabus so no need to separate class or separate thing uh, our primary textbooks are really rich with content and with so many discourses when we are transacting a lesson or a discourse or any small paragraph we have to pick up some language structure to practice and at the same time in that uh, period itself we have to give more practice suppose observe this uh, paragraph you can see i want to dance i want to make paper boats this is from fourth class english textbook uh, i have to so if we uh, pick the structure i want to make paper boats i want to dance i want to run like that if we give more practice on that particular structure the children will understand and use the structure in their life daily life also madam next slide please so observe this uh, slide there is a conversation between butterfly and caterpillar to teach this is a big conversation for fourth class students uh, to teach this conversation i adapted the uh, structure of the spoken english module you know all all of you know that madam next slide there are four times uh, fun time talking time circle time and sharing time in our module so i adapted the structure to teach this conversation and uh, in our module the first theme is self introduction and my motto is at the end of this uh, teaching this conversation the child should uh, gives their self introduction so for that i have created a fun time activity uh, i used this conversation as talking time activity and i picked the, uh, picked up some structure and practiced in circle time and finally they presented their self introduction in sharing time next ma'am ma'am please change it. okay for this okay ma'am okay for this in the classroom activities and out of the classroom activities i have created two different um, two different types of activities in the classroom as a fun time activity i have created a game called fly or crawl uh, in the initial stage the students not aware of the new vocabulary given in the conversation to make them uh, simple uh, to learn easily i have created this game the ch uh, the children will sit in a circle and they pass the ball from one child to another child uh, they have to say a crawling animal's name or a flying bird's name madam video please please watch the video first video ma'am video ma'am first video please watch the video how i can dear children let's play the game after that the start continuous, uh, continuity oh, snake caterpillar butterfly this is fun time activity snake nail very I'm good passing the ball and saying snake teacher snake nail very good claps people read all these words come on read come on five you know all the people are doing i wrote all the words Very good. 
this is one time activity there my uh, fourth class children and passing the ball and saying birds names and animals names after that they are reading those words like uh, the main motto is butterfly and caterpillar they have to identify these two words specially when child is reading and the other children are repeating after him okay madam presentation yes to continue uh, after fun time activity the as a talking time activity i have taken this conversation but this is a big conversation so children has to practice repeatedly what i did and what did i did it just i created an animated video and i posted it in whatsapp group in the classroom i have written all the sentences and they are practicing one by one repeatedly for 3 uh, days after that uh, listening to that video and they are practicing with the help of the video and coming to the uh, class this is a pair activity so they presented in the class after 3 days observe the picture it's a uh, my whatsapp group madam play the video yes this is the video i created video also hi hi dear caterpillar you are so beautiful you too really am i beautiful yes we both are beautiful is it so yes it is you have beautiful wings but i don't have you see i too was once just like you hard to believe Believe it. I still can remember crawling just like you. You are lucky. You can fly, but I can. Don't feel like that. You too will become like me. But good things take time to happen. Really? Yes, dear caterpillar. Waiting for you to fly together. Am I beautiful? Oh, that beautiful! It's so yes, it is. You have beautiful wings, but I, you see, I too was once just like you. Hard to believe. Believe it. I still can remember crawling just like you. You are lucky. You can fly, but I don't feel like that. Come like me, but. Good things take time to happen. Believe it. Yes, dear caterpillar, waiting for you to fly together. Madam, please play the next video, ma'am. Next video also. Starting time, my dear. Swarnata, madam, then video share just then, no? Me, ma'am, repeat choose, kundi. तुंदर 
after watching this video after listening to the audio the children will do role play as butterfly and caterpillar as uh, mentioned in nep the 21st century skills also we can in, uh, inculcate integrate in this activity that is if, uh, in this pair activity collaboration and cooperation all the skills hi butterfly Okay, go ahead. Okay, madam. The fourth one is played already. Fourth video. Okay, madam. That is about the circle time. Okay, coming to the circle time. Uh, I picked the can and can't. With the help of substitution table, I can and I can't. I can fly. I can. Uh, jump i can run like that you can here we can integrate a uh, uh, nouns pronouns also in this activity and the last one is sharing time activity here uh, the children will i have prepared uh, these caps using canva app i have prepared this so uh, wearing this they can say i am a caterpillar i am green in color i eat leaves like that they self uh, they give self introduction of caterpillar and butterfly and my motto is they have to say their own self introduction for that again i took the help of the module and i have prepared some sentences and uh, i recorded the audio files and sent through whatsapp this is all out of the school time i did all these activities and i integrated the syllabus with spoken english components uh, so please watch the sharing time activity madam last video madam please present last video ma'am
in this process i have completed all the four components of the spoken module and integrated with my syllabus so to make my children as global citizens i used all these components of uh, spoken english structures scale structures and integrating with my subjects now my children are confidently speaking about their self introduction so i want to continue this process for my fourth class children and i want to make my children as global citizens and thank you for the opportunity ma'am thank you everyone for uh, participating in this meeting thank you so much Is the students to speak in English? So please say in few words. Madam, now if you have time, please share that uh, uh, talking time activity, ma'am. Video. Yes, sure. Third one. think audio problem ma'am in this manner my children are learning spoken english and if you uh, uh, there is a saying called where there is a will there is a way so uh, this module is especially made for uh, eighth class student but i want to use this module for my fourth class student so if uh, the teacher wants to do something more beyond the classroom for the student we can create wonders thank you so much thank you for the great opportunity ma'am thank you so much thank you mangarani garu yes thank you so much thank you for your experience sharing your experiences and i invite now uh, three Hoteshwar Agaru, he is a school assistant English in JP uh, uh, HS Jagaya Peta. So he will go with the circle time activities. Uh, I I request uh, Sri Hoteshwar Agaru um, to take the session, please. Good afternoon, all of you. Welcome to the orientation on spoken English program. My name is Koteshwar, working as school assistant English at JPHS Chellakallu. As part of this spoken English program, we have been discussing various sessions such as fun time, talking time, circle time and uh, sharing time. This program has been designed to reinforce whatever the activities that we are already doing in our classrooms. See, there are three aspects regarding circle time. Today, I would like to discuss with you there are the three aspects of circle time. Number one, what is circle time? Number two, what is the importance of circle time? And number three, how to organize the session 
cycle time. First of all, let us see what is cycle time. Cycle time, also known as group time, is a certain time during which the students gather and perform an activity by involving everyone. Social time provides a time for oral communication and a time for listening and uh, a time for improving new concepts and skills. Circle time also provides sensory experiences and a time for socialization. In this particular session, circle time, the role of the teacher is a facilitator. Here, the responsibility of the teacher is to see that the emotions of the students are protected. Okay, in the beginning of any language, in the beginning of acquiring any language, for example, our mother tongue, imitation and repetition play an important role. Children imitate and repeat others and acquire their mother tongue now, in a natural way. The same process we are going to adopt. Here, we are going to take up certain important vocabulary and important sentences that we use in our day-to-day -day life, which are mostly used by the children and uh, teachers. The simple and easy vocabulary and sentences, we are going to make the students use them. Our aim is here to make the students use the words and sentences with the help of substitution tables. Here the substitution table is very helpful for producing as many examples as possible by the students. See, it is very clear that the listening and speaking track is entirely different from reading and writing track. It is just like uh, traveling in a bus on the railway track. If you follow the rules of grammar, if you follow all the rules of language, and uh, by using reading and writing technique, it's just like uh, traveling in the bus on the railway track because the track is it's not possible to travel in the bus on the railway track because the track is different. It is time it is time to change our track, our teaching track and teaching style because speaking and uh, listening track is entirely different from reading and writing. Here, this platform on this platform we are going to discuss certain tips and uh, techniques we have already been doing in our classrooms. I would like to share some of the tips and techniques with you. Here, there are certain structures, simple structures with the help of substitution tables. We are going to present to the students and make them repeat. By repeating, see, repetition gives the students use their why is vocal cords? What is that the organs of speech very smoothly? That we are going to implement in our process. Now let us discuss the importance of cycle time. What is the importance of cycle time? There are certain activities, activities that we are going to do uh, in case of uh, during cycle time. Cycle time activities help the learners improve to their movement of the organs of speech. They, they, they use, the, they, they improve the movement of the organs of speech very smoothly. And it helps the ch children recollect their own vocabulary. Here we are going to focus uh, the vocabulary or the language already known to the children. We are going to bring that vocabulary and that language out of the child. And uh, the circle time activities make the learners become good at posing questions. So there are certain activities here in which the students uh, 
pose as many questions as possible because the uh, that posing questions uh, is an important uh, aspect of uh, language acquisition and these cycle time activities also help the learners build their confidence level this is very important aspect once the confidence level of the child is built up it is easy for him it is easy for the student to continue to continue to talk in english and these activities help the learners to self practice sometimes uh, the child is unable to practice with his friends or classmates he can do his own practice and it also makes the learners continue their practice even after going home we can see recently we have been uh, watching the videos the students are going home and uh, they are talking to their parents they are showing interest talk in english even with their parents even though they are not good at talking they are showing interest to talk to their parents and siblings now part 3 how to organize a session circle time first of all we prepare a list of sentences with a single structure which is used mostly here substitution tables are very helpful for us the practice may be done by dividing the students into groups or in pairs or sometimes say student alone sometimes it is necessary to get something by heart by repeating for example multiplication tables in mathematics <coughs> poems in telugu we used to get them by heart i didn't know the meaning of multiplication tables when i got them by heart but in the course of time we understood okay the meaning of it at the same time in english also there are certain structures that are used for practice let us see for example we will watch the video on ongoing actions can i please play the video one see this is a substitution table on ongoing actions here we are not going to explain to the students what is the name of the tense okay what is the uh, subject verb the form of the verb everything we are not going to explain every every no no aspect of grammar but the children are going to use them without having any knowledge of grammar they can use in the group here our here our intention is to create a peer free and child friendly english atmosphere how is it possible to create a fear free and child friendly english, english atmosphere it is possible when the children talk to their friends and classmates children may hesitate to talk to the teachers but they they feel free to talk to their friends and classmates that is why it is better to form groups the students who are merit who are, who are the students who are active may be acting as the leaders of the groups and the other students maybe imitating them or repeating the sentence let us watch the video audio is missing audio I am writing a letter. She is writing a letter, but I am teaching skate. She is playing skate, but I am. Now, after watching this video, we understand one thing. the students they may not be knowing the name of the tense but i am writing a letter she is writing a letter but i am teaching skate she is eating cricket but i am singing a song she is singing a song but i am playing cricket she is playing cricket but I... now you have seen that the students have combine two sentences in present continuous tense they may not know whether they are using 
present continuous tense. But simply they are combining the two sentences, positive and negative, by using the sentence connector but. So if you ask the same students to tell some other sentences, they, they may be coming up with more examples. Sometimes they will surprise us by telling some creative sentences. Now let us watch another video. Madam, please play the second video. Monica, what do you play? I play volleyball. Class in seven seven now seven standing. Monica, what do you play? I play volleyball. She plays volleyball. Sunday afternoon, what do you play? I play chess. She plays chess. Class, what do you play? I play coco. She plays coco. What do you play? I play cricket. She plays cricket. Mahendra, what do you play? He plays Kabaddi. Sarah, what do you play? I play Shetty. He plays Shetty. Okay. Okay, we have seen that the students are using simple present tense. And there is a question and there is an answer and there is a transformation of sentence from the first person to the third person. All this is done without knowing any knowledge of grammar. Now let us watch one more video. Madam, video number three, please. Hi friends, my name is Maulika of 7th class. Hi friends, my name is Krista of 7th class. Each is a project to change I like swimming. I don't like swimming. I like swimming. I like tennis. Don't like I like movies. I don't like movies. I like green color. I don't like green color. I like chocolate. I don't like chocolate. I like ice cream. I like flowers. I don't like flowers. I like coffee. I don't like coffee. I like driving. Thank you, friends. Now you have seen the students expressing their likes and dislikes. See, the students in the beginning, they started telling in a, with a slow pitch. And in the middle, they increased the, the speed. And at the end, again, they slowed down. So this is another technique in which uh, the students become curious, telling slowly and uh, telling faster. It, it creates some 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 uh, some kind of enthusiasm among, among students. This is one thing. Sometimes uh, uh, telling with low pitch and high pitch that also creates a lot of curiosity among students. We can practice it. Let us see another video. Madam, Madam video number four, please. Now, we have seen questions. See, this is a no speak, only speaking policy. Here, the student is asking questions, but 
she is not waiting for the answers from the other student so why it is done like that there is a reason so when usually when we want to talk in english usually we think about the reaction of the others those who are listening to our english most of the time the reaction is mostly negative and so we stop talking in english so to avoid that to overcome that problem here only speaking policy only talking one side talking if you want to talk if you want to speak just you continue to speak don't care about the responses of the others so in that way <clears throat> on one side the students are able to pose questions and at the same time the students are able to continue to speak in english without the by ignoring the responses of the others now there is a, another uh, type of practice that is the translation of sentences from the mother tongue from telugu to english and from english to telugu see the, the translation of sentences really uh, they create some kind of uh, curiosity among students they feel like uh, they are playing a game see let us see an, a, another video on translation of sentences yes now the students have translated the sentences from english to telugu we can also do it from telugu to english madam please uh, to another video video number 5 last one 6 telugu to english okay now you have seen the translation from telugu to english okay translation from one language to other language really the children become curious because uh, one language is already known to them and at the same time they feel like it a game and it it creates some fun okay now you have gone through various practices there are some activities in fun time and there are activities in talking time and circle time and sharing time there are so many activities okay which is better which is the be what is the best what suits our children the, the choice is yours it is the choice of the teacher to choose sir excuse the right me. practice for the students sir koteshwara garu madam okay So, so participants ask it to play again one the fifth one and the fourth videos i will play that one okay 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 ma'am
Now we have seen that the students have started in the beginning slowly and gradually they picked up speed. This is a, a kind of practice. So out of all these types of practices, it is the teacher to decide, it is the teacher to, to choose the right and suitable practice for your own students, because there are various types of students in our classrooms. The learning attitudes of the children are different and the psychological status and the emotional status of the all students are different from student to student. That is why you use, choose the right practice on your own. And uh, there are some other practices, just like multiplication tables, for example, we can take up, in case of transformation of sentences, in the course of time, you can also take up uh, transformation from voice, active voice to passive voice. You can also take up from that, the, the transformation from degrees, one degree to other degree. In the course of time, you'll be given a few uh, sentences and uh, make them drill. For example, uh, I play cricket active voice, cricket is played by me, I watch TV, TV is watched by me, I sing songs, songs are sung by me, like this. And sometimes you can change the subject of the sentence by taking only one action word. For example, I play cricket, cricket is played by me, we play cricket, cricket is played by us, you play cricket, cricket is played by you, they play cricket, cricket is played by them, he plays cricket, cricket is played by him, she plays cricket, she, cricket is played by her. Here, the subject is different. In the slide, what you are seeing is the action word is different. Sometimes we can change the object. By changing the subject, verb, object, we can create lots of sentences. We can produce lots of sentences and the students may be able to produce more number of examples. Now let us watch the other slide. The teacher is expected to assess the students. Madam, uh, please. Uh, Show the previous slide, please. Completed actions under. Yes, yes. See, these, the list of sentences are looking like multiplication table in mathematics. So instead of explaining to the students the difference between do and does, when do is used, when does is used, instead of explaining all these things, just give them this kind of sentences, ask them to drill, repeat them, so that they'll be able to produce them at the time of speaking. For example, I talk, I don't talk. Only in negative forms we can take, positive and negative sometimes, and at the same time, questions also we can take up. For example, they can practice like this. I talk, I don't talk, do I talk, do I talk, we talk, we don't talk, do we talk, don't we talk, you talk, you don't talk, do you talk, don't you talk. They talk, they don't talk, do they talk, don't they talk, he talks, he doesn't talk, does he talk, doesn't he talk, she talks, she doesn't talk, does she talk, doesn't he talk. This is a kind of practice. By changing the action word, you can give again one more uh, exercise. By changing the subject. Finally, I would like to tell you the selection of practice is in the hands of the teacher. Focus less on grammatical errors while speaking and focus more on expression of thoughts with their own words. Children have their own words, their own vocabulary, their own uh, sentences. Here, we have to accept in the beginning of their speaking, we have to accept their expressions, their thoughts first. Even though there may be some uh, grammatical errors, we have to accept it. For example, a child knows only three words, um, I, waiting, bus. The, the child may be speaking like this. Uh, I wait, I waiting bus daily. I waiting bus yesterday. I waiting bus now. Here, the, uh, I, the thoughts, the expression of the child is understood, but it may not be 
grammatically correct because the words the sentence is disjointed of course you may accept the disjointed words in the beginning of speaking actually the child has to say i i wait for my bus daily i wait i waited for my bus yesterday i am waiting for my bus now so in the course of time you will be able to uh, express the correct uses okay no problem in the beginning it is better to accept it now uh, lastly i would like to tell you here speaking is a is a is a skill in which our movement of the organs is very important when the students are able to move their organs of speech smoothly they will pick up speaking skill very fast there are certain tongue twisters we can give them for practice just like a game i would like to tell one tongue twister for example this is the man that shot the dog that chased the cat that ate the rat that ate the mouse that lay in the house that jack killed like this some long long sentences may be given to the students so that some curiosity may be generated and uh, a speech may be generated among students and uh, i hope that you will enjoy this program and you will get better results and thank you for giving me this opportunity so thank you very much sir the circle time is very very important that uh, it can uh, generate the language students have their own language their home language we are bringing those language of uh, students to uh, this classroom and uh, that is very helpful so questioning and uh, uh, the, that is the structures those are very very play with those plays very important role so thank you very much for your session wonderful session sir for this your garu and uh, now i invite uh, shrimati abigail ma'am so thank she you. will come thank you sir uh, she is the school assistant uh, um, so school assistant in jphs jonalagadda uh, guntur district she is also one of the rps i will invite uh, abigail ma'am to take the session please ma'am good afternoon everyone uh, welcome to you all for the orientation program on spoken english for teachers of andhra pradesh especially for school assistants uh, really it is a privilege for us to have a training program like this i myself i am very much happy that i wanted to improve my language as well as my student so unless we improve our language and there is no possibility for us to teach our student so first of all for yesterday and today also we have been discussing about some of the topics that is fun time then talking time then circle time and now it is turn for us to go with the sharing time as we all know in fun time we have many language games and then in talking time we have different types of conversation how we can develop the skills speaking skills among the students and then in circle time we have some structures how to make student to speak simple english with correct pronunciation and also with uh, some patterns given in the module and now in this module it is not a bible or a quran for us to follow but it is a model for us so in this module we have nearly 18 themes related regarding the families introduction self introduction and then our favorite food and also favorite village and picnic spots and many other things now coming to sharing part sharing part plays a vital role it followed by the practice time and also presentation time so before this what is the importance of sharing time and what are the values that we can inculcate among the student with this sharing time given in the module 
So for this, let us focus on some important points regarding the importance of sharing time. So ma'am, can I have my slide? So sharing time, right. It enhances and it develops and strengthens the rapport between the teacher and the student. Not only the teacher and the student, even it builds up the rapport between the friends and also the relatives and family members. Because sharing is nothing but caring and we share our feeling, our opinions and also our likes and dislikes without any interruption. So now, just let us move on to the importance of sharing time. As I have already told you, know, the fun time, talking time, circle time. So now we are moving on to sharing time. So now just uh, move uh, another slide, ma'am. Right. And then it develops the sense of community. And also, see, this sharing builds self-confidence and develops self-esteem and also self-image. And now this sharing means without any inhibition. So the purpose of communication or the things that we are sharing in this time, we are bringing out the psychological inhibitions and also psychological barriers among the students by sharing different types of things which are familiar to them. So now we are following the simple to complex. So now simple thing. So they have to speak, they can speak about their family and they can speak about their uh, favorite food. They can speak about their Otherwise, they can speak about their home. One day, they can go with their living room. And the another day, they can go with the kitchen. And then the some other day, they can discuss about the, uh, the bedrooms and everything. So then, what are their favorite programs? They watch on the TV. And now, this sharing also helps the sharer and the listener to enjoy the activity. They don't think that is a boredom but they enjoy because it is the activity or this is the process being conducted outside the classroom. So let the child take initiation and let the child take freedom and also the liberty to discuss and to present what they have learned in the specified time. And then this speaking abilities helps us to get a significance than what we are and what you are. And also, it is a great best method to motivate and inspire other students also. Suppose if a child is able to speak, there is a competitive spirit among the students, so they will come up to share something. So now we have heterogeneous right, students in our classroom, not especially for the spoken English uh, classes. So now what we have to do, now some children will able to learn in a day one sentence, but some children they can learn three to four sentences and also some children they can learn everything at, in one or two days. So it is not the matter, but we should not discourage, but instead we have to encourage them, whatever they have learned, if it is a sentence or if it is a paragraph or it is anything, but let the child come up in a free mood so that they have the confidence that I can speak English. I can say something relating to the given topic. So they have a kind of enjoyment and they feel uh, then they have the confidence. So now the next day they will come up with one more sentence. So let it is not the compulsion and we should not force the student to go with the pronoun right uh, to the accent. We are not giving importance not for the accent, but we are giving uh, important for the pronunciation and the way they have to present. So now just we'll go with the value of sharing. So what is the value that we can inculcate among the students mean? See now we can develop love and affection among the student and then they start sharing. Suppose if a child is weak and then another person or the leader what we say, they will help the people. So in that way, they develop the love and affection among themselves. And in this way, their friendship will be strengthened and it will be cemented. So cemented is for strength. So their friendship, not only with the friend, but their, with the relatives or now children are very much focused and they are showing a lot of interest to learn English. Because now once we started in our school, the ch children are able to 
at least speak one or two sentences without any errors. And this sharing leads to the act of love towards humanity. So in this, we have to teach them. So now a child is unable to speak or unable to read or spell the words. Now the teacher and also the leader of the group can help them. So in that way, they will come, they will develop an act of love towards humanity. And then it gives a value to a person more than a thing. So we are dealing with the living children. So we are not dealing with the things. So now it plays a vital role and it has a lot of value and it is a precious gift for them. So now and then we can know the hard work which is lied behind them because it is not a, a simple thing to learn and to come with uh, the pronunciation and to say something. So now here in sharing time, there are many themes I told you. Now we can have stories, poems, news, notices, songs, and recipes. So now, just I uh, will go with some announcement here. Uh, can you go with the announcement, sir? Okay, now number of advertisement, nature, you can speak about the family members and about pollution also to bring awareness among the students. And then the next one. Now, there are announcements at the airport, shopping malls, and also we listen to many uh, announcements at the railway station or at the schools and also at the hostels. Many times we notice different types of announcements at the hostels. Now, here is an announcement for us. Now, before this, just I would like to tell you what is the procedure that we have to follow in the classroom. I uh, guess I'll give you a brief note about uh, the implementation in the classroom. First one, guess what we have to do? Right, write activity or on the chart. So with the, whichever the activity given under sharing time should be written on the blackboard or on a chart. Uh, because, uh, you know, here, if we write on a chart, it helps us to uh, present or exhibit one or more than two times or three times. If it is bored, again, we have to write on the blackboard. So it is better to have a chart written on that. And then let the teacher read it once or twice. And then ask the students to repeat after the teacher. And then focus on the new words. And give practice by repeating the words and ask the students to read. So first one, what we have to do, uh, write the activity and then read once or twice and then make the children repeat after the teacher and then you have to uh, give pronunciation right, practice on the new words and then let the child speak on their own. So in this way, we can make our children speak on the given topic. And then how to monitor in the classroom. Now, what, how to monitor in the classroom? Now, first we have to create a WhatsApp group and then you can post one or two things or the audios or the video clippings on this WhatsApp group and then let the children listen to them carefully and then they have to record by themselves and then let them check how better they have read out and how they have learned the given activity. So it is not the question that how much the children are learning, but how best they are learning, whether it is a sentence or a paragraph or an introduction. And now here, just we have an uh, announcement of pre-boarding announcement. Here it is, right? Uh, just let me read this announcement. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is pre-boarding announcement for flight number 101 from Mumbai. We are now inviting those passengers with small children. Any passengers require special assistance to being boarding at this time. Please have your boarding pass and identification ready. So now, just you go with second and third time reading and then ask the children to repeat some of the new words like boarding, passengers, announcements, and then children inviting identification. So just let the children practice those words and then they will have 
the familiar how to pronounce those words and then they have to take some points to the consideration while presenting it so what to do here while presenting or the capturing the videos so first in the sharing time after learning the activity which is prescribed in the module let the student practice and learn and whatever he learns or he or she then let it be recorded on videos so that for this we need to have a bright light and just you have to keep in mind that no disturbance noise disturbance should be there and then the voice should be audible and then they should be check that the child should uh, speak a better fluent english and then there should be voice modulation and then tone the intonation see these are the things that we are supposed to teach our student and then some gestures whenever there is need we have to go with the actions so now after this now just i would like to go with the poem right faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a barrel all through the meadows the horses and cattle all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by so in this way we can make the student first you read once or twice and then let the children repeat after you and then give practice on the new words and then let the children repeat this poem so if they practice for two three four or time and then they will learn easily so the best thing you can teach songs and you can teach some tongue twisters so that they can develop their fluency so now i uh, just i would like all of you to uh, focus on the words now just uh, let me read one tongue, tongue twister which is very very useful there are many tongue twisters you can right Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Just if I give you a pause, you can repeat after me, right? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where is the pickled pepper that Peter Piper picked? So just you break the words and give right where to give where to give full stop. That means we have to check even go and follow the punctuation marks also. So it gives a good sense. Now just I, I ma'am, can you play one story? How to present a story? on those videos i have sent you this last one uh, please listen to the story uh, narrated by a student voice not not audible Uh, now uh, really now we have seen how the child presented see just keep practice it 
and then he added some gestures and also some action and now he is able to present so now we should not force the student to come up with the accurate but what they learn let it come out without any inhibitions or fear so if we object them or if we want to uh, check their correction then and there itself they will never come forward to present their uh, presentation so now we have to give freedom to come up with their own opinion and their own gestures and then we can slowly just rectify and then we can mold the student the way how we want to have them and now uh, i came right now there are many storytellers right like geeta ramanujam and uh, deepa kiran we can have lot of animated stories in youtube youtube so if you want a number of stories or different types of presentation you can go to youtube and you can watch it is also one of the tool for our student to know a better uh, presentation and now so many uh, just uh, we would like to tell how to prepare a recipe so this recipe is just with the instructions we can go with now if, you, if we can ask the student right take a bowl a pot of pour a glass of water and one add one spoon of sugar and then just you give some instructions let the children follow according to the instruction and in that way just we can teach them how to prepare a tea or a simple omelet by giving instruction and then see the next what my advice is whatever the child is learning in the class or in the school especially in the evening time or in the spoken english classes you just you leave your word of suggestion to the student to present this at home and what they have learned if they share even the parents also they feel very happy and they have the confidence that their children are able to be a good speakers of english so it is all on our side so uh, really we are blessed to have this kind of program so now just let this program be benefited not only for us and also for the student and let us bring the dream of our uh, minister and also our department right to come true and i wish you all the best thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank you one and all thank you very much ma'am Yes, really uh, wonderful session you have given, and now I request uh, Naga Subhachala to uh, to take the session on talking time activities. Srimati Naga Subhachala is the school assistant English in JPHS Chapi Revula, Nandhiyala district. Madam, uh, just you go with your PPT, and then we will play the videos at the end of the. End of your session. All your videos will play at the end of the session. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Or otherwise, we will uh, upload them in the YouTube channel. All right, ma'am. Yes, I'll go uh, with the PPT, ma'am. Yes. Okay. A very good afternoon. Madam, unmute you yourself, please. You are not audible. Ma'am, now. Hello. Yes, you are audible. Ah, it's okay now. Okay, thank you, thank you, Swamna, ma'am. Okay, a very good afternoon to everyone. And I'm, I will. Hello, ma'am. You are not audible. Ma'am, I'm unmuted, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Audible, audible. Audible to you too. No problem. Okay, go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, now, ma'am. Is it audible? You Hello. Are, you are audible and visible. May I start? Okay, may I start? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the second day. Yes, ma'am. Please. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to all. Second day spoken English orientation program on spoken English, conducted by SCRT AP. Today's my assigned topic is uh, talking time. It is the most effective session in spoken English class. Student, as it is an interactive session, students interact with each other in a playful and enjoyable way. They can have lot of, lots of uh, uh, exposure towards conversations and 
games and activities so here in this interactive sessions we can plan as a pair work or as a group work and we are very much aware of how a child can acquire language any language yeah it's only because of listening and repetition so students have such exposure towards the language and it's the duty of a teacher to give resources for that exposure uh, by uh, providing pictorial charts by creating situations and by using daily routines so teacher should by giving this uh, this type of uh, resources students will get will acquire language easily and now i'll move to my talking time session we can divide this talking time session into three categories the first one is what is talking time second is role of a teacher during talking time and third one is effective implementation of talking time and first move to what is talking time ma'am will you please share that one what is talking time swarna ma'am yeah actually it is the time learners spend time than the teacher here they spend lots of time in interacting with each other and there are few strategies strategies that may be adopted by the teacher those are think show tell talk these strategies will promote the language talking about given topics or situation help students to process the learning through integration of information verbalizing and engaging in concepts out loud has been shown to assist in solidifying learning talking with other other people enables them to learn from one another it means they interact with each other there talking time creates a safe for learning environment to students could practice more actively participate more actively and engage themselves in a joyful manner okay it, it talking time is nothing but it went on a playful way where the students have the exposure of interaction and teacher should provide such type of exposure to the students in the classroom and out of the classroom and i will uh, i'll move to the second slide role of the teacher during talking time okay this one is important to understand by using speaking strategies teacher should help to improve language development in order to encourage effective spoken communication in this matter teacher should act as a facilitator who teaches these strategies that can help students to develop their language skills teacher should not interrupt students at the initial stages of learning language this must uh, be remembered always because while the students started to sp uh, speak a language if the teacher interrupts they will be um threatened by the language so teacher should don't interrupt while the students are speaking teacher should encourage bold fear free active presentation from the students may I move the slide please ma'am please okay as the talking time is not meant for pen and paper so underline this word that not meant for pen and paper we shouldn't use pen and paper in the classroom it should be enjoyable it should be joyful learning atmosphere teachers should provide learning resources like charts pictorial charts pictures flash cards video clippings and any other possible resources to the students teachers should create certain possible situation of inside or outside of the school to inculcate inculcate speaking ability 
among the students for example talking about friends talking about family and talking about likes and dislikes actually fun time and um, circle time and talking time sharing time all these sessions are interlinked with each other so uh, students who joined who enrolled in spoken english classes are engaging themselves in a joyful way that's why the program is going to be successful in our ap state for that one i would like to thank apscrt and the government of andhra pradesh first mem move to effective implementation of talking time in this uh, effective implementation of talking time how to manage this one how to manage our spoken english class teachers should give clear and brief instructions at the beginning of the activity it must be very important for the teacher otherwise it, it, the class must be messy or confused they present their activities in a confused manner so teacher give brief and uh, clear instructions before the activity teacher should create necessary interest and zeal in the students to come forward to learn a language teacher should create a respectful joyful threat free environment in a class teacher can also take ideas from the students on talking time topics students should be provided with n number of activities based on communication according to their level of language proficiency now i like to suggest a few of communication uh oriented activities ma'am please move to the next slide yeah a teacher should create uh, such a uh, activities in a classroom like role plays conversations debates storytelling modal interviews songs in english talking about their daily routine during subject discussions in groups giving instructions in assembly talking about playground and play activities while they are playing in the playground talking about midday meal these are the possible resources and uh, possible situations where the students can generate language very effectively and they are all very much focused with these uh, situations in daily routines so i think these are the possible uh, situations where the students can speak right english correct correct pronunciation ma'am will you please move to the next slide yeah actually a module is designed with lots of lots and lots of uh, information like conversations language games and uh, language activities what not if a if a teacher strictly follow this module which is provided by scrt ap students will no sooner uh, sorry within in no time they'll get language very easily ma'am will you please play that one before that one conversation between students madam you conclude the program yeah i think your session i'm also thinking okay okay i'll okay. share the videos after all uh, oh, right 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 ma'am right okay thank you uh, finally i would like to say all the teachers uh, for a uh, teachers of ap uh, mostly for english teachers joyful learning environment makes students to learn on their own pace the only thing is we need to facilitate students and thank you very much for, for giving me this uh, a great opportunity um, and th i thank to apscrt and at the same time government of andhra pradesh thank you very much thank you very much swachala ma'am for your uh, good presentation and uh, she is the teacher who made the parents to to talk in english so i i would like to share all the videos but it is not supporting here but i we will upload all the videos uh, in the youtube crt uh, channel and uh, you will watch all them and now i invite 
మధు మధుబాబు గారు స్కూల్ అసిస్టెంట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఇన్ జెడ్పిహెచ్ఎస్ కాశీ బుగ్గ శ్రీకాకుళం డిస్టిక్ టు షేర్ సమ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ రికార్డింగ్ స్పోకెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐఎమ్ మధు అండ్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ టు షేర్ మై ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ విత్ యూ విత్ స్పోక్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సో వెల్ బిఫోర్ దసరా వెకేషన్ వీ అటెండర్ దిస్ ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ విత్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంతూజియాజం అండ్ యాజ్ అ టీమ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ వండర్ఫుల్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ వీ పార్టిసిపేటెడ్ వెరీ వెల్ and now after coming from there what we have done in our school i would like to tell you in a, in a nutshell i can say first the first part is that choosing the students we went to every class and uh, i asked some like i'm finishing sentences like i would be happy if in in that way by getting the responses initially i chose five to six students from every class that is 6 to 8 and 9 also we included and after that the next class what we have to do is we have chosen the students and then the second one what we have done is uh, we have taken the print out of the module for the first two weeks and we distributed these sheets especially the conversation parts and uh, conversation and there's a talking time and all to our students and the next part is that uh, in the first week what we have done is we created that friendly environment with you know like uh, the fun time we did use in several uh, ways like uh, like how to introduce yourself laughing and you know you might have heard all those things so the very first step what we have to do is the teacher should be uh, very friendly in this spoken english classroom especially that's the first thing and the second thing you allocate uh, around 10 or 15 or 20 even i can say interesting themes to the students like uh, about visiting places you can think about our seventh class like how they talk about uh, uh, arco valley and all and now recently we are thinking about picnic give every opportunity to the students right some 5 to 10 teams on their boards and based on the idea what they have to prepare on the conversation help the children with some kind of brainstorming activities like uh, where do you want to go what are your plans like that you give limited structures to the student so that as coacher was saying if you give that structural drill and prayer drill especially that works with our students and i can show you some of the videos if possible that's the other area and now coming back to the things once uh, to give the confidence to the children everybody was saying right from the beginning in the morning give confidence to the children that how we can do is first you begin with imperatives like come here go there take it or you give these kind of instructions to the students so ask them to do and give certain tasks like if you are the headmaster or the teacher what kind of instructions would you give to your uh, friends or students like that create situation and what i want to say is when we take this imperatives especially the sentence structure is very simple like v1 plus o or don't plus v1 plus object but if you look at the functional value it has more like come here and it has different thing different function i can say and take left and go straight that is giving direction and have a cup of tea if i say it's an offer beware of dogs or thieves that is like think about what uh, the functions it has so based on the functions you focus and later on slowly ask the students to tell in different ways go don't go by using all the expressions and we can say one thing if the children should speak english effectively means the first thing we have to focus is law like they have to maintain the eye contact there are several children initially they will be looking here and there okay so ask the children to maintain proper eye contact and then let them use proper actions like gestures and then only let them use words so 
this is one more area what we have to follow and the next thing is that be comfortable and use as many language games as possible so that children will have fun and they will come to your class without any fear and they will have you know like a, a very lovely atmosphere that's what we need and uh, one more thing what i can say is uh, in terms of recording the videos uh, what a teacher uh, needs is an extra hour of time think of different activities that shows to your student and maybe a translation will work with some student like how we have done i'll show you some of the videos also how we have done you know like ra come here go like that see uh, make it as a challenge with the student they will really enjoy it. and finally you can go with the pairs like going positive sentences and negative give a verb like i eat food i don't eat food every day or envy or like that so this is uh, the pair drills and then the translation work and then we have to give some basic input what they require especially uh, the conversation part if the children should be comfortable with conversation means the next thing what you have to do is you have to ask them to prepare n number of questions and while preparing questions also you should ask them to use like you know tone in a proper way like like had your lunch like that so intonation and pronunciation is also important but don't focus too much and while you are giving a small conversation uh, what i did is uh, i gave a mini dialogue for example like did you eat and we today oh no i didn't eat and we today what did you eat i ate rice only didn't you eat and we today so these are the five different types of sentences it's a small mini dialogue give students to end the situation after teaching this kind of situation like as on a question did you eat with a rising tone no i didn't eat then what did you eat again following tone i ate only something thank you so okay. much sir thank you so much mother yes. sir yes ma'am so yeah. this is how you have to... few more teachers to yes. okay. discuss their okay. views okay thank you so much uh, uh, thank you so much ma'am this is how we are doing i hope you will do wonders and you will get entire support and watch the other videos also thank you so much and wish you all the best thank you sir so now i want i request uh, mohana ambal she is the school assistant in jphs week kota chitur district mohana madam yes uh, madam oh. i cannot start my video that's a okay why oh, okay it's okay you can share your experiences ma'am uh, yeah madam 2 minutes for you uh, madam already <laughs> yeah <laughs> so very good morning to all the viewers of uh, this uh, training program madam i am trying to open the video please yes yes please something problem with my phone i think madam you you can go with audio okay madam uh, good morning viewers uh, this is mohana teacher in english i uh, wish to share my experiences with you uh, whenever i when i started my spoken english classes at the beginning my children are so reluctant to speak in english so i made them with uh, some activities i made them to come out of that comfort zone so what are the techniques i followed just i wanted to share with you so when uh, i started my spoken english classes i understood that this uh, speaking is closely related and positively connected with listening aspect and that's why i gave lot many chances for my children to listen listen to the videos and listen to the uh, listen to the stories and even i made them to listen to the uh, live conversations and and this activity really helped my children to pick up very productive language and what is the best uh, uh, 
practice. I, I made in my classes. I just I started to one minute talk. I made all my children to practice in standing in front of the mirror and practicing for one minute talk. That one minute talk has to be posted in our WhatsApp group and the feedback on this video will be given by me as well as by my children and that enhances my children's learning and they are coming out that they have come up with uh, all the uh, rectifying their mistakes and they have done well now and they are coming with very beautiful speeches and uh, what is the third practice which is really good uh, i feel good at my work is i ask my children to open their accounts in vocabulary bank so what is this vocabulary bank uh, my children whenever they are encountering with a new word and they wanted to find the meaning for that word as well as they have to go with all the different forms of that particular word i mean uh, whenever they are encountering a word they are after they are finding out the meaning for that word they have to search for all other forms that means a noun form and verb form and adjective form and adverbial form and this helped my children to expand their vocabulary and this expansion of the vocabulary really helped my children to uh, get good communication and uh, uh, what i wish to share that you know at the finally i asked my students to uh, madam i'm very sorry i feel nervous uh, i'm concluding this thanks a lot thanks okay thank you mohana so thank you for sharing your uh, experiences this is very very important that uh, so how we have to how do you made the children and how do you made the children participate uh, in each and every uh, activity so that is very very important that the participatory mode of uh, uh, learning the language is very very important so now i request uh, Srimati Khatija Bibi, School of Education, JPHS, Eleshwaram, Kakinada District. So she is also a wonderful uh, teacher, and uh, I, uh, I want to uh, listen to you, ma'am. You are all experiences with uh, uh, how you have gone with spoken English program. Yes, good afternoon to all uh, the dignitaries who are present in our online session. This is Khatija Bibi Muhammad, School of Education, English, JPHS, Eleshwaram. Uh, it's a great privilege to uh, to share my all of my experiences to you all uh, because it's a great thing that we are taking a big task to the students that is uh, uh, speaking in english it's not a, a little task to be fulfilled uh, but it's not uh, like impossible task it's if we thought if we uh, have the desire to achieve that task so that we can achieve in any of the task uh, in that regard i am taking the classes early hours uh, from four o'clock to six o'clock i am taking the classes for my students they are very much interested to join uh, actually they made me uh, they made call to wake me up to attend the class it's a wonderful thing i think i thought initially i used to have only five students but now i have three i have started three batch three batches each batch 20 uh, uh, one of the batch contains uh, in 25 to 30 students also like that uh, we uh, i am conducting the classes through online in the zoom sessions uh, they are very much interested and their uh, improvement also is uh, it's very good when the media people and the local leaders came to know about this uh, through uh, our uh, collector ma'am kritika shukla ma'am visited our school that time she uh, uh, she was really uh, uh, surprised by the students presentation whatever she is asking they are uh, if she asked uh, she was asking in the telugu also they they are giving the answers in english really the, she appreciated our students it's a great achievement i can say by my students uh, and uh, moreover uh, i want to uh, very thankful to have such training programs
through online and offline actually i have attended offline uh, session also in the last month uh, before last month 19 20, 19 and 20 in amravati uh, there i got uh, boosted and it helped me a lot actually previously also i used to take the classes but this much of uh, encouragement i did not get from anywhere so i am i feel very proud to have such a programs in our government school students and it's not only uh, only one or two sessions not like that but it's a great thing great achievements can never be in one or two days or two weeks or two months so continuous effort should be uh, whatever we are doing is that continuous effort because i'm not uh, sharing all the things because the time is very uh, uh, in pre, uh, very less i have given so that so that i am not uh, taking the classes uh, i am not uh, taking all the things so i i want to share you uh, in detail uh, one thing believe in your uh, initial poten infinite potential i want to say believe in your infinite potential your only limitations are that you set upon yourself that's what i want to that's what i want to explain that's what i want to say because i believe that i can do it uh, if prasad sir can do why can't i do so that i i initially taken this project uh, taken this uh, spoken english program uh, it's as a challenge and uh, i i got uh, very much uh, satisfied with this program and i am very much happy to have such programs in our uh, education department especially uh, in our government schools because they are not uh, uh, nowhere in the we, we can find that they are lesser than any corporate school students uh, they are well, when the media people came to know about came to know that they came to take the interview they also appreciated uh, uh, my students everybody uh, by seeing that more and more people wants to join in my classes in my zoom classes and in school also all the staff members they are appreciating and uh, they they wants to join some of my some of my colleagues also join the classes along with the students it's a very uh, great uh, change transformation we can say that so that we can say that we can see that tremendous changes is happening uh it's a great it's a great thing we can see uh, around us whatever the things we can uh, imagine uh, previously we can't imagine because i have uh, that zeal from the start, beginning but now i got the platform to fulfill thank that you. Zeal. thank you very much ma'am really you. Uh, it shows you were passion towards the spoken to english program and uh, as you are very active and you are get you are very motivated with uh, the training program too so <laughs> thank uh, you ma'am so you are uh, is a very great thing that you already covered 70 students in your school yes, for this program is a very great thing and uh, I, thank you very much for your experiences so now i request uh, sujatha ma'am Sujata, uh, school assistant English. She is from East Godavari district. So I request Sujata, ma'am, please uh, uh, share your experiences as time is running out. Please take two minutes of time, ma'am. Uh, yes, you are okay. Aud you are audible. You Am are I audible, ma'am? Yes yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Arasena Sujata from uh, East Godavari district. Uh, and uh, I would like to share some of my experiences regarding Spoken English Club. Actually, after returning from the SERT training, uh, the very first day we announced in the assembly that we are going to conduct uh, uh, Spoken English Club. Yes, ma'am, please uh, uh, switch on your video. Okay, ma'am. Video routed. Chita madam. Yes ma'am. Yes sir. Uh, video. Uh, yes yes. Okay okay. okay so uh, uh, turn, turn your phone. Turn your phone. It's coming. Reverse. Horizontally. 
ओके सो ऑन द वेरी फर्स्ट डे आफ्टर रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम द एस टी वी अनाउंस दिस प्रोग्राम डीटेल्स इन द असेंबली एंड दट डे इट सेल्फ इन द इंटरवेल uh nearly some 100 students encountered me with their questions ma'am can i join in this club uh, may i uh, excel in this activity like that the number of questions and number of students nearly 100 students surrounded me but i was uh, confused uh, how can i uh, discourage them and how can i encourage them with a large group uh, so i decided to uh, conduct some screening test so in every class i gave some initial uh, activity that is uh, biography uh, biographical sketch for seventh class and uh, some uh, self introduction to the sixth class like that i gave and i uh, uh, i was succeeded so uh, when uh, when i started to uh, do the activities really in uh, after one week uh, i got uh, 30 students those who are really interested and they are uh, very actively participating uh, before conducting all these activities i have planned to uh, uh, do the uh, do uh, to make the students into two groups one is homogeneous group and the second one is heterogeneous group and in two ways uh, in simultaneous way i i wanted to uh include all the activities that is one is uh, in homogeneous group uh, all the uh, same class group uh, students will be uh, there and in heterogeneous group i have to match all the some uh, some one student from the sixth class one student from the seventh one student from the eighth class like that i have taken that means uh, they have to uh, match their experiences and their knowledge so uh, uh to implement these activities already madam or uh, uh, from uh, srt people they have given one module but what is the best resource for our teachers no doubt at all our textbook is the best resource and what is the best time uh, even uh, even we we conduct all these activities in the school also at uh, the syllabus exams uh, evaluation both are equally uh, important so we should not leave the syllabus so uh, in for homogeneous group at the end of my class period uh, uh, i used to take 5 uh, to 10 minutes for the general instructions and after school from 4 to 5:30 we are taking uh, the special uh, interaction courses uh, interaction means like that uh, uh, with all the heterogeneous groups heterogeneous students we are uh, conducting these activities so in the beginning we gave uh, self introduction and only autobiographies because i told you already uh, the textbook is the best resource and we can complete our syllabus as well as we can uh, uh, induce all the activities regarding spoken english club so thank you very much ma'am thank you very much it's very nice uh, presentation that it is very okay, important you. that you mentioned what you mentioned is the uh, uh, it is it should be integrated with the textbook okay yes, and then we will we also uh, focus on the spoken skills of uh, the language so okay, now okay. it is uh, already um, okay it is i request to director sir director, sir, uh, director of acrt sri pratap reddy garu thank please you. thank you uh, ma'am thank you for the, giving me this chance इंगीचर्स साधिस्टर निरूपचे समय आसन्न डेफिट मे हेडमास्टर्स मेपन जरूर आलरे डीओस अंदर इंटीमेट जी पूर्ति स्वेच्छन ये क्लास को ऐक्टिविटी उठाइ अवीड सिवी ए पूर्ति स्वेच्छ तो पिल का इनपुट मन की डेली अटे डेली उपयोगी पदार्थ ग्रामर ग्रामर तो कुछ वाक्याल अवसर लेकिन 
ఇన్ జనరల్ అంటే చాలా సింపుల్ గా ఆ మూవీస్ కి ఏం వెళ్ళారు మూవీస్ స్టోరీ చెప్పమనండి అంటే ఇంగ్లీష్ లోనే సో అలా అలా మనకి మీరు ఏదన్నా మనకి పొలాల లేక వెళ్ళినప్పుడు అక్కడ ఏం చూస్తారు ఏం చూస్తూ అలా ఆ విలేజెస్ మనకు ఆల్రెడీ మనకి సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ అన్ని కూడా రూరల్ ఏరియాస్ కాబట్టి ఆ విలేజ్ లో జరిగే యాక్టివిటీస్ అక్కడ ఏమేమి చేస్తారు అలాంటివన్నీ సింపుల్ లేచినప్పటి నుంచి పడుకునే అంత వరకు కూడా పిల్లలు ఏం చేస్తారో అది మాత్రమే ఆ ఇంగ్లీష్ లో మీరు వాళ్ళకి నేర్పించగలిగితే చాలు అదేవిధంగా అర్బన్ ఏరియాస్ లో కూడా వాళ్ళు లేచిన నుంచి మనకి ఆ స్ట్రీట్ లో ఉన్నటువంటి అట్మాస్ఫియర్ కావచ్చు అక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి వాతావరణం అర్బన్ ఏరియాస్ లో ఏ విధంగా ఉంటుంది వాళ్ళు ఈ వీకెండ్ లే మన ఫిల్మ్స్ వెళ్ళ వెళ్ళేది కావచ్చు క్రికెట్ కావచ్చు లేదా గేమ్స్ ఎక్కడైనా వెళ్ళడం కావచ్చు ఆ రిలేటివ్స్ వచ్చినప్పుడు వాళ్ళు ఏమేమి మాట్లాడారు అలా అంతే వంటలు కావచ్చు ఏదైనా కావచ్చు అలాంటివన్నీ మాత్రమే మీరు ఆ పిల్లలతో ఫస్ట్ తెలిసిన విషయాల గురించి మాట్లాడితే మనకి చాలా ఈజీగా ఉంటుంది అదే మనకి కష్టమైంది అంటే ఏమైనా అంటే సబ్జెక్ట్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోతే చాలా కష్టం అలా బాగా నేర్చుకోవాలి అనేది కష్టం అనిపిస్తుంది అదే సబ్జెక్ట్ తీసుకుంటే ఆ విధంగా ఫీల్ అవుతారు అదే తెలిసిన విషయాలు అయితే ఎటువంటి పరిస్థితిలో కూడా ఆ పిల్లలు టఫ్ ఫీల్ గారు చాలా ఈజీగా ఇంతే కదా అనే ఒక భావన లేక వస్తారు వాళ్ళు వేసుకునేటువంటి ఆ మనకి ఆ వాళ్ళ పేరెంట్స్ ఆ మనకి ఆ కావచ్చు వాళ్ళ రిలేటివ్స్ గురించి కావచ్చు వాళ్ళ ఫ్రెండ్స్ గురించి కావచ్చు ఒక్కొక్క ఫ్రెండ్ గురించి ఇంకో ఫ్రెండ్ గురించి చెప్పమని చెప్పండి అలా తెలిసిన సంభాషణ నుంచే చిన్న చిన్న వాక్యాలతో మీరు పదాలతో మొదలు పెట్టేసి తర్వాత వాళ్ళకు ఫ్లూయెంట్ గా ఆ నేను ఫీల్ అవుతున్నాడు డెఫినెట్ గా మీరు ఒక థర్టీ వర్కింగ్ డేస్ లో హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ పిల్లలు మనకన్నా బాగా చెప్పగలుగుతారు ముఖ్యంగా నాకన్నా బాగా చెప్పగలుగుతారు నేను కూడా తెలుగు మీడియం బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ స్టూడెంటే మేము పడే బాధలు ఇంకెవరు పడకూడదు పిల్లలు సో అందరికి కూడా డెఫినెట్ గా మీలాంటి ఇంగ్లీష్ టీచర్స్ మీరు మీరు ఆ ప్రొద్దున స్పెషల్ సిఎస్ గారు కూడా మీకు అందరికీ కూడా చెప్పారు ఇంగ్లీష్ టీచర్స్ రిమైనింగ్ టీచర్స్ కూడా అవకాశం ఉన్నప్పుడల్లా కూడా స్పోకెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీరు వాళ్ళకు కూడా చెప్పండి వాళ్ళు కూడా వాళ్ళ క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో అంటే మన దీనికోసం వల్ల నిర్బంధం మన ఇంగ్లీష్ విద్య కాదు ఇవి ఇట్స్ వాలంటరీ మనం అంత స్వచ్ఛందంగా మనం చెప్పుకోవాల్సినటువంటి అంశాలు ఇవన్నీ కూడా అందరూ ఎక్కడ మనకి పనిష్మెంట్ ఇంకోటి లేదా వాళ్ళకి ఏదో వన్ రూపీ ఫైన్ లేదా అది ఏది ఆ ఏది గోడ కుర్చీ కూర్చొని పెట్టడం ఇలాంటి చేయొద్దండి కొట్టేది లేదా బయట వరండాలో నిల్చోండి అని చెప్పేసి ఎండలో నిలబెట్టండి ఇలాంటి పనిష్మెంట్స్ వద్దు స్వచ్ఛందంగా వాళ్ళు ఏం చేస్తారనేది ఆ వాళ్ళు మీరు ఆ స్వచ్ఛందంగా మాత్రమే ఇది చేయాలి తప్ప పనిష్మెంట్ తా కాదు బాగా చెప్పిన వాళ్ళకు మీరు ఎంకరేజ్మెంట్ గా ఒక ఆ క్లాప్స్ కొట్టించడము వాళ్ళతో వాళ్ళని పొగడము ఒకరి తగ్గించినటువంటి బహుమతి లేదు సో ఆ మీరు అందరూ కూడా మనకి ఈ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద అకాడమిక్ ఇయర్ డెఫినెట్ గా మీరు మంచి చేస్తారని చెప్పేసి మీరు ఆశిస్తూ పిల్లల భవిష్యత్తు మనకు మనకు ఈ ఫార్టీ టూ ల్యాక్స్ యాడ్ ఉన్నటువంటి గవర్నమెంట్ స్కూల్ పిల్లలు మనకు గవర్నమెంట్ ప్రొద్దున మన హైనా థర్టీ చెప్పినట్టు ప్రైవేట్ స్కూల్ తో భిన్నంగా మనకు గవర్నమెంట్ స్కూల్ ఏ మాత్రము ఆ తీసుకోవండి కార్పొరేట్ కన్నా మిన్నగా మనమే మన టీచర్స్ అంతా కూడా హైలీ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ ఉన్నటువంటి టీచర్స్ మూడు విధాల ఫిల్టర్ అయింటారు మీరంతా మనకు ఫస్ట్ టీటీసీ లేదా బీఈడ్ చేసి ఉంటారు తర్వాత టెట్ క్వాలిఫై ఉంటారు తర్వాత డిఎస్సి ఇంత హై క్వాలిఫికేషన్ ఉన్నట్టు మీరు మరి మిగతా వాళ్ళకి ఏ మాత్రం తీసుకోని విధంగా మనకి ప్రైవేట్ స్కూల్ కన్నా మిన్నగా అక్కడ వాళ్ళకి చెప్పడం ఏంటి మనం చెప్పలేక చెప్ప చెప్పగలుగుతాం మనకు కావాల్సిన దానిలా కూడా సరైన మార్గ నిర్దేశం చేసే ఒక వ్యవస్థ కోసమే మాత్రమే మనం ఈ ఇప్పుడు చేస్తున్నటువంటి ఒక యజ్ఞంగా భావిస్తూ మీరు ఈ రోజు నుంచి ఆ అడుగు వేయండి మీ అడుగు అంతా ప్రతి పేద విద్యార్థి గుండె చెప్పుల్లో కూడా వినిపించాలా మా ఇంగ్లీష్ టీచర్ నేను నేను చదివేటప్పుడు కానీ ఇప్పుడు కానీ మీకు ఇష్టమైన టీచర్ ఎవరు అంటే తెలుగు సోషల్ లో పీఈ అంటారు కానీ ఇంగ్లీష్ అనే వాళ్ళు ఒక టెన్ పర్సెంట్ కూడా ఉండరు ఈ రోజు నుంచి టెన్ నుంచి హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ మాకు మాకు ఇష్టమైన టీచర్ అంటే ఇంగ్లీష్ అనే విధంగా మీరు వాళ్ళని మౌల్డ్ చేయాలా మీరు ఆ పిల్లల్లో మీరు ఏ విధమైనటువంటి మార్క్ తీసుకొస్తారనే రాబోయే రోజుల్లో మీ నుంచి మేము ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ చేస్తున్నామండి డెఫినెట్ గా మనకు పేద విద్యార్థులు వాళ్ళ తల్లిదండ్రులు ఇంటి దగ్గర చదివే పరిస్థితి చదివించే పరిస్థితి ఉండదు మన మాదిరి సింగిల్ బెడ్రూమ్ డబల్ బెడ్రూమ్ త్రిపుల్ బెడ్రూమ్ ఉండే పరిస్థితి మన దగ్గర చదివే పిల్లలకు ఉండదు వాళ్ళు ఒకే రూమ్ లోనే అన్ని విధాల కూడా మనకి అక్కడ ఉంటారు కాబట్
కాదు కాబట్టి మనమే తల్లిదండ్రులుగా మనం మనమే ఆ పాత్ర పోషించేసి మనమే ఆ పిల్లలు పేదరికంగా ఉండే పిల్లలకి మనం అందించే ఏది అంటే ఒక విద్య మాత్రమే సో ఆ విద్య మనకి పేదరికానికి అడ్డు కాకుండా మనకి గౌరవ ముఖ్యమంత్రి వర్యులు ఒక గ్లోబల్ సిటిజన్ గా చూడాలని ఏకైక లక్ష్యంతో విద్య కోసం ఇన్ని వేల కోట్ల రూపాయలు ఖర్చు పెడుతున్నాము నాడు నేడు ద్వారా కావచ్చు జగన్ విద్యా కానుక ద్వారా కావచ్చు జగన్ గోరుముద్ద ద్వారా కావచ్చు ఇంత మన కరికులం చేంజ్ కావచ్చు మీకు ఒక హ్యాపీనెస్ ఏమంటే గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా సెక్రటరీ గారు ఆ అనితా మేడం గారు ఒక విషయం చెప్పడం జరిగింది మనకి ఒకే క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో ఒక ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ అంటే మదర్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ ఉంటాయి కొద్దిమంది తెలుగు వాళ్ళు ఉండొచ్చు లేకపోతే కొద్దిమంది గుజరాతీ వాళ్ళు ఉండొచ్చు కొద్దిమంది నార్త్ ఇండియన్స్ ఉండొచ్చు ఇలా ఉన్నప్పుడు మన మదర్ టంగ్ బేస్డ్ మనకి చెప్పాలా మనకి ఆ మనకి మాతృభాషలోనే చెప్పాలంటే మరి ఎలా అంద మన ఒకే క్లాస్ లో మనం ఏదో తెలుగు అని చెప్పేసి తెలుగు అని చెప్పుకుంటాము మరి మీ క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో మిగతా ఆ స్టేట్ లో ఉంటే అప్పుడు ఏంటి పరిస్థితి దానికోసమే మిర్రర్ ఇమేజ్ బైలింగల్ అనేది దీనికి ఏకైకమైన పరిష్కారం అందుకే ఎక్కడ లేదు భారతదేశంలో ఎక్కడ లేదు మరి ఒకవైపు ఇంగ్లీష్ ఒకవైపు ఊర్దు ఒకవైపు ఇంగ్లీష్ ఒకవైపు తెలుగు ఒకవైపు ఇంగ్లీషు కన్నడ ఇంగ్లీషు తెలుగు ఇలా ఇంగ్లీష్ ఈ ఒరియా ఇలాన్ని పెడుతున్నాం సో ఇవన్నీ భారతదేశంలో ఎక్కడ లేదు ఓన్లీ ఏపీలోనే ఉన్నాయి డిక్షనరీ మీరు గమనించండి మనం చదివే వయసులో మనకు డిక్షనరీ కావాల్సిన లేదా మన పిల్లలు డిక్షనరీ తీసుకోవాలంటే ఏదో ఒక లో క్వాలిటీ లేదా చిన్న బుక్ ఇవ్వమంటాం ఇప్పుడు ఆక్స్ఫర్డ్ డిక్షనరీ ఆల్ హై స్కూల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అందరూ కూడా డిస్ట్రిబ్యూట్ చేసామంటే మీరు ఆలోచించండి మనం ఎంతగా మనకు ఆ పిల్లల కోసం మనం తపన పడుతున్నామో మన ప్రభుత్వం అదేవిధంగా బోత్స మన మినిస్టర్ గారు మన గవర్నీలు ఆ బోత్స గారైతే మనకు పిల్లలకు మనం ఏం చేస్తే బాగుంటుంది అనే విషయాన్ని పదే పదే మా అధికారులకు అందరికి కూడా సూచిస్తే ద బెస్ట్ వే వెళ్ళాలా అని చెప్పేసి మన మినిస్టర్ గారు మనకు అందరికి కూడా ఆ సూచనలు ఇవ్వడము మనకు అనుగుణంగా మన మన స్పెషల్ సిఎస్ గారు కావచ్చు కమిషనర్ గారు కావచ్చు స్పెషల్ ఆఫీసర్ గారు కావచ్చు వీళ్ళందరూ కూడా పిల్లల కోసం మనం చేసే యజ్ఞంలో మనం రాబోయే కాలంలో సిబిఎస్ఈ మూడులోకి వెళ్ళి ఈ తరుణంలో మీరందరూ కూడా భాగస్వాములు వేసి మన పిల్లల్ని ఒక బెండపూడో ఒక నిడమానూరో లేదా వన్ థర్టీ స్కూల్స్ పైలట్ కింద తీసుకున్నటువంటి స్కూల్సే కాకుండా మొత్తం ఆ ఆరు వేల హై స్కూల్స్ కూడా ఎక్కడ ఏ విద్యార్థి అడిగినా కూడా మాకు ఇష్టమైన టీచర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ టీచర్ అని చెప్పి ఆ ఇంగ్లీష్ మనం ఆ వీళ్ళు భవిష్యత్తులు ఎక్కడికి వెళ్ళినా కూడా మిమ్మల్ని తలుచుకునే పరిస్థితికి మీరందరూ తీసుకురావాలని చెప్పేసి మీకు అందరికి మనస్ఫూర్తిగా చదివితే జోడిస్తూ మీ ఈ యజ్ఞాన్ని మనకు విజయవంతంగా పూర్తి చేస్తారన్న నమ్మకంతో మా ఇక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి స్పీకర్స్ కి అదేవిధంగా ఉపాధ్యాయ మిత్రులందరికి కూడా మా ఐరాథరిటీస్ కి అందరికి కూడా అదేవిధంగా స్వర్ణ అనే టీమ్ అందరికి కూడా నమస్కారాలు తెలియజేసుకుంటూ సెలవు తీసుకుంటాం ఐటీ టీమ్ చాలా ఆ ఈ టూ డేస్ కష్టపడ్డారు రవి అండ్ రమేష్ ముఖ్యంగా మీకు స్పెషల్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు ఐటీ టీమ్ Thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful and valuable message. So, really, it's a very great thing. And I, I, I take the opportunity to thank our Special Chief Secretary, Sri Rashika, sir, and uh, um, Commissioner of School Education, Sri Suresh, sir, and our uh, English Special Officer for English Medium Project, Sri Mathi Vetri Selvi, ma'am, and all the teachers and who are watching this uh, um, orientation program uh, throughout the AP. and also i my special thanks to our uh, honorable cm sir vice jagan mohan reddy garu is a very particular uh, that the spoken english aspect of english really makes a difference in this uh, 21st century so we thank one and all for this great opportunity and uh, i think uh, i hope all the teachers will take this uh, forward and uh, make it a successful program in your schools thank you very much namaste